Hello. Next, I will enunciate a definition of the term in the language. Then, I'll give some examples that were taken from some texts written by three high school students. In the end, I'll present the bibliography. Interlanguage is a type of speech or writing that non-native speakers produce when they are in the process of learning or acquiring a new language. In that process, non-native speakers tend to turn to their native language in order to compensate or reduce a gap or a lack of knowledge of the target language. Also, they tend to make assumptions or conjectures about the new language, which may turn out to be correct or incorrect. In this game of making guesses, the non-native speaker will probably make some mistakes. This term doesn't have a negative sense, like a failure. A mistake is perceived as a natural phase in the process of knowing the target language. What is a mistake? The following are some examples of interlanguage. They were taken from some writing texts produced by three high school students who were in ninth grade. The students wrote a short story based on a cartoon drawn by Kino. In the text of the first student of the stands, the word sheeps. Once upon a time a shepherd was with his sheeps. He was playing the flute. The shepherd and his sheeps were so entertained. However, the word sheep belongs to a different group. The irregular plural. In this case, the singular form of the word is equal to the plural form. The word is the same, either singular or plural. Therefore, the student one is making a generalization by applying a grammar rule that she already knows to a word that requires a different rule. A curious fact, the learner wrote an apostrophe plus s to form the plural ships. Since she uses this term twice, I infer that it's not an irrelevant mistake. I mean, an isolated fact that was the result of a lack of attention or without the intention of making a mistake. So it's possible that the student was aware of the way she wrote the mentioned word. Perhaps this mistake shows her understanding of the plural form. Likewise, this mistake shows the interference of the native language over the foreign language. That means that a student applies a knowledge that belongs to his native language, but it doesn't work for the target language. In English, the plural of some words is formed by adding an S at the end. Sometimes in English, this rule is followed, but this is not the case. Let's see how the students use the same word. The second student used twice the term heard to indicate the plural form of the word ship. This is correct according to dictionary.com. Was a boy that played the flute and the herd listened to he. In a similar way to the first student, the third student forms the plural of the term ship by adding an S at the end of the word. The learner makes a generalization by applying a grammar rule of the target language, that is the regular plural, to a term that requires a different rule, the irregular plural. 
The previous idea is related to the interference of the native language over the foreign language. That is, the student forms the plural of the mentioned word in the target language as he has in his native language, but the word works differently. Finally, it is understanding the word to repart. This term is used with the intention of saying to distribute, but without having the knowledge of the corresponding word. The student solves this difficulty by making his own adaptation of a word that comes from the first language. In that way, he fulfills a need of communication in the target language by using a prior knowledge that belongs to his native language. This action is called a loan or borrowing and also an attempt 